Hello everybody, I'm here for the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my Indian Empire playthrough where today we're backstabbing Hirohito. I have left the faction. Now, for some reason I had the game rule on where you couldn't leave a faction so I've had to use a console command to get that off. But I do want to join the Russians. We are 88% of you that voted on that poll that I put in the last episode said join them. So we are joining them. Now, we are going to get... A large number of our troops are going to be chilling on this border instead of from this lot because I have a funny feeling Japan may attempt some naval invasions of basically every bloody way. I'm even going to protect the Maldives because I don't want them that close. They're already pretty close um, just the fact that they have the islands here. Shouldn't have given them that. Um, just in the garrison every last port. Okay, that's we've got double the amount of divisions doing that. Right, so yes, we're gonna see if the Russians are gonna let us in. I'm hoping they are. They should. We are an empire. Paternal autocrats, paternal autocrats. We do have Pavel the Second Romanov in charge, the child. And I think he is gonna stomp the Japanese. Um here he was only got uh, 123 divisions max. Between 37 and 123. The fair the Feng Shiang government's pretty strong, and Siam's looking pretty strong as well. Um, but Russia is on another level. They have so much territory to play with. And they have so many puppets. I think the German Union may have actually... No, they don't have anything. They've not done out. So we're going to see what happens with, uh, with this war, because if we can defeat the Japanese... Um, I think we'll probably end up seeing if we start uh, a war with the Third International and help the Russians defeat them and just have Europe completely under control by uh, the Russians. They have got a war with Turkey ongoing right now, but they have managed to get across through uh, Bulgaria, which is very impressive by them. The Ottomans, I mean the Turkish, have mines from the Greeks though. Due to the fact they probably got, they've got zero divisions, but... Um, yeah, we are, we're doing it in Italy. We're flipping sight. And I don't think they're expecting it either from the looks of this border. So we are going to be going hella aggressive. We have joined the Russian sphere. We are going to go ahead and join the war. So here we go. We're pushing through Siam again and into Indochina. So we, we're still waiting on some bloody um, cores. Still waiting for them, but it's okay. Yeah, we are off. Prince of India joins the Russian sphere. The Russians accept their offer. To, uh, offer Today a new global alliance has been born and will shape the fate of the world. The bloody Russian sphere. That's what we've got. We are on aggressive. And we are going to be, hopefully, running through this territory. We need to be as speedy as possible. We just need to push, push, push. I'm not going to be calling in the Sultanate of uh, Malaysia because, well, I just don't want to. So yeah, we're still getting resistance from from that. What we'll do is we shall divvy up these guys because we've got to get past this impassable terrain. Plus, we do need some geezers to actually push down south. So what we'll do is we'll do that. Where is the eight? They can continue on to the likes of Bangkok. And the rest can just push through here. What we might actually do is might just get these other lot and just go boom and just bin that. I didn't mean to bin the whole bloody thing. Oh, okay, right. The yellows can just cover that. So we've got the greens in the north. The yellow's going to go push through the middle. The greens are going to just hightail it to this border right here. Okay, Siam is starting to appear. They are bringing some divisions. But we're, we've got past the... Um... Oh, nice. We've got another core. Good. Does that unlock anything for us? No, we need to be at peace anyways to do these. That's... I could have probably done all... I can do all of them now. Um, we'll probably try and finish them up once this war is over and done with. Um, I think we are... Yep, we're meeting some resistance now. What we need to do is actually get just a couple of years just to head down that side. What we'll do is we shall bin you. 
We've got 17, okay, so those 17 divisions have definitely ran into the uh, larger quantities of the divisions by the looks of things. I don't know why I'm researching all that stuff because I'm not really focusing on the Navy at all. I think Japan will probably sign, do they sign a peace? With the, will they sign a peace with the Russians if they get defeated? Oh, we're getting another core. The Russians ain't doing so well against them right now, which is a bit of a concern. Turkey has died. Oh, bollocks, I'm going to have to pass. Oh, this is going to take a while. Didn't realise I was actually involved in that war. I didn't think I'd joined in. So, I'd like to say the Russians are going to keep Constantinople. Um, but I'm just going to give them it all. I'd like to I'd like to think they'll take Constantinople. What we'll do is we'll actually give Greece the land as well that's theirs. We'll see what the Russians do with that. Right now, let's just divert our full attention here. Okay, we have got some Siamese division stuck here. And we are we're still progressing forward. Those divisions kind of need to up, though. For some reason, only eight were on that. I don't know why. Let's go find. We got these guys cornered, which is fantastic, really. So these guys can push up there. These guys are coming in the north of that part. I think the Russians are bringing a lot more divisions over now. So we're probably going to see an increase in the. Um, well, just better odds of... Well, they're going to push forward more, I hope. I'd like to think, anyways. Go ahead and just get that drawn. It's not the offensive line I was really hoping for. We do kind of need to push through the whole of Siam and Indochina. Yeah, we can not... Oh, we can just fit it down. That's looking better. Obviously, the yellows aren't 100% in position just yet, so we need to wait and just hope that nothing terrible happens. I'm sure they haven't actually tried to naval invade us yet, which is a bit odd. Alright, these 10 are going to continue pushing. Their job is to secure that. Then we can send these three back up to help these guys out. So, Siam still has a decent number of divisions. Um, I don't think we're actually facing off against any Japanese divisions currently. I think what we might do is we might just hold and just let everyone get sorted. There's a lot of Siam divisions down here. There is a lot. Oh, their capital's down here as well. I don't know how close they're to uh, capitulating. Oh, they're pretty goddamn close. Um, obviously, some of our boys are moving about, so we might see them get a slight wee push. Well see them get some parts of their land back, but that's okay. So ambitious. We'll go ambitious. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be needing it. Well, we actually could if we really want to take on the Entente, but I don't think we're going to do that. Is Japan still justifying on the Entente, actually? They are. They are. So they could really um, screw themselves over here. Oh, my, we've, we've managed to get them. We've managed to get them. That is, that is bound to be a lot of divisions there. Oh. Right. Everybody on that. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, yep. That's going to fall. We're so capital now. We're going to get those guys to stop just because I want them to be... Uh, well, just hold. Right, that got absolutely crushed. What are their casualties like currently? Not too bad. We've lost 70,000. That's not terrible. It's not been disastrous. I don't know what we're like for maybe pushing... Okay, it's, it's mixed. I'm going to just keep that because we do want to just keep making some pushes forward. Okay, a bit ambitious by you, but I like it. Well, they're coming in to help. The Japanese Navy is attacking the, the Russians. That's... Don't know why they're not just staying, you know, in line and just coming through me and helping me and Siam. Siam's Oh ho ho! Hello, hello, hello. Right, we need to think carefully here. 
we'll do is the yellows will send you straight up and they can just start pushing in. The greens, we want them to kind of encircle these guys as best we can. Because we do want to catch them. Still want these guys to finish off taking the uh, self here. Right, yes, I think that's good. We just want to catch as many of these dicks as we can. You hightail it down there. Just push through. We'll actually get you to start walking down around there. It's going nicely down here. Killed that division. He's on going to there. These guys push forwards. Try and just catch them before they can make it to the coast. Let's take Hanoi while we're here. I'm going to start pushing forward, boys. You get after him. That's a lot of divisions in the south, I think. Right, what do we have in terms of infantry that we can grab? Let's get the improved infantry equipment 3. Um, we've done all the stuff in there. We've done all that we have. No wonder I'm just finding about with the researching on the ships. All of yous, get there. Portugal's capitulated. I think that's the French managed to take control of uh, the Iberia. We, I think, are pretty close to stomping them out over here. Is that a naval... Was that a naval invasion? Or have they just been forced to that position? I'm, I'm sure that was a naval invasion. You come down and around. That's not what we're wanting. It's not what we're wanting. We're wanting them to, like, actually take all of that. That's better. Okay, it seems the majority of the Japanese forces are dealing with um, with the Russians. Because we haven't really encountered that many of them. Uh, okay, that's good. And the Russians are helping us push these guys back. What we'll do is we'll get one division just to mop up that. I'll draw an offensive line soon. Just going to just get them there. All spearhead through there. There we go. Let's just get into them. If we can take out the Feng is it Feng Xiang government? Probably saying it wrong, but if we can take them out, oh, do we want to try and get some tanks out? Do we want to try and get some tanks out? Russia. I need your help, old boy. I need you to give me some more steel. If that's even possible. Nope. So we're going to go over with the US. Supply. Where's supply terrible? Obviously it's there. Okay, we need to make sure we can get through here as quickly as possible. Okay, nice. We have killed 300,000 of those. Basically killed all of the uh, Siam troops. Don't think we've done that much to uh, Japan, though. We killed 53,000. Okay. I was going to say, I, part, I thought I saw the Russians have any casualties. I was like, um, I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have had casualties. I don't know why there's so many of you going towards that. We just want to continue pushing forward. So they have 187 divisions max. If that's actually right, anyways. I don't think it is that high. Just cut them off. Oh, we're still getting some resistance, so we've not got cores on everything just yet. But I think we must be pretty close to doing so. Wow, there's a lot of... You're just, you're just causing us unnecessary tension. Like, you weren't even ready for that. You're ready on my border, but I'm not joining. 
I'm going to deal with one at a time. I was wanting to take out a this playthrough. I'm sure I said that back at the start. That it was someone, just because they would kind of have, you know, Cindy's right next to us like that. The Germans like, join, join. I bet the Germans don't even have any men yet. No, they still don't have any men. Mainly because their manpower is absolutely tragic. So it doesn't mean to bend them all. I think I'm just going to keep them on the, the spearhead. Yep, that is exactly what I'm wanting. That is perfect. Obviously, all the juicy um, cities are in the north. Juicy cities. All of the cities that we need to take, really, are in the north. Like, Nanjing's obviously one we want to take. That is definitely one we need to. And we will get to that first, though, of all of them. Um, but... Uh, Shenyang is just so far away. So far away for us. Like, we have to push through the whole of China, practically. How are we doing equipment-wise? That's one thing we need to just keep aware of. And the Empire Japan went ahead and pissed off the Anton. Okay, well, hopefully the Anton Navy can hopefully do some damage to them. Because Australia has got 115 ships max, so... You're not... Why did I click on you? I wanted to see how much... Oh, you've only got so many ships. Um, we are producing these. We do have modern ones now. We have modern ships. Right, let's just get the modern ones in. Okay, we're, we're struggling to advance now. Um, but the whole Leontons coming to our aid. Actually, we're still pushing. Um, the Russians are kind of... I don't know why they're pushing in Siberia. That's just... What is the point? Um, I reckon the Russians are going to struggle with this. Iran is... Iran is sitting in a very, very dangerous position. They aren't scraping the barrel, like. But, um... Damn. Muscat's holding on as well against Saudi Arabia. I forgot the Entente was against them. They have kind of got a little foothold back in France. I don't think it's the French that have done this, though. But Libya... Libya's are doing okay. They're kind of out of manpower, though. That's their main issue now. Um, we could try and cut them in half. That's what the Russians should attempt to do. We might be able to divert additional troops, really. They've not invaded naval invaders once. However, I do know for a fact that um, if I move those garrison troops, we would instantly be naval invaded. Like, without a doubt. Oh, I'd be interested. Oh, I was going to say, it would be interesting. We could invade the legation cities. But no, if they weren't guaranteed by Canada and Australia. I'm uh, sorry, the Austral Australasian Confederation. Then I would have done it. How's our uh, casualties doing? We've got plenty of manpower. I'm not really worried. I just want to know how... We're not doing too... We're doing pretty decently. We've killed half a million of them. We've still only killed 53,000 Japanese. So we're basically just against the um, the Chinese divisions right now. Um, and we're doing a pretty good, a good job of um, taking them down. Don't know if there's anything we really want to grab that will help us. We don't really need to change any of that. We could go and close the economy. We could. That probably... Uh, that would save us 92 steel. We do have a lot of extra steel right now, but that's fine. More resistance. We're just doing random focuses. That is really all... Uh, random focuses and research. Um, oh, we should go for an encirclement here. I reckon we can. We're, we're making... We're doing good pro progress over here. <laughs> Transmur. Oh, I thought Transmur was classed as a major. Obviously, Japan's classed as a major, and so is um, the Chinese puppet. They have beefed themselves up a little bit. This navy is very, very strong as well. I'm really hoping, because of that, there's going to be, like, um, uh, a peace deal. Like an event. You know how, like, if the Germans lose, like, the Japanese... We get the event. Like, we can continue fighting, or we can accept, like, a white peace, and then we get the land. I hope we get that again. I'm sure it happens when Japan gets pushed out. We'll have to push them completely out of their mainland China, though. I know the Russian territories as well, but I think we can do it. Well, we're pushing in with 60... 72 divisions, sorry. I needed to do some quick maths there. Um, and we're not doing too badly. My main concern is when the infrastructure does turn to absolute crap, though. Which... We're probably in that now. Yeah, we're, we're already in it. It's fine. 
we've got to that point already. Um, I don't know why even like that. But how many medium tanks we got? We could start pumping up some medium tanks. They could be very beneficial for us. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a template. That's mechanized. We do not want mechanized. I don't want you either. We want motorized infantry. Do you know, I've still not used motorized um, artillery yet. Let's mechanize infantry again. I, I've not used it. I've not used motorized anti tank or artillery. I don't know if there's any point in actually using them, so I guess you guys can let me know in the comments if you use them or not. Because I, I don't see the purpose. Um, I think we can probably get 12 out. Yep, 12 out, no problem. They can just jump straight onto the border and just come straight on in once they are of a certain degree of usefulness. We're not as a uh, just complete our rookies. Um, I'll, stuff it. I'll just do atomic research just for the absolute lulls. Oh, control asserted. Nice, good. I don't know if that's just got all cores yet. I think we're pretty close though. We're still pushing pretty nicely through them. Nanjing is... We're ever so slowly, but we're getting there. We're so close. We're getting there. Oh, we've got an army encirclement over here. We'll just try and finish that off. Some Siam divisions over here. And we've just got company guys doing nothing. Okay, they're almost halfway to capitulation. I wonder what happens. What will happen when they do capitulate? Like, I want to see how stranded the Japanese divisions will be, because that is a really big concern of theirs. I don't know why they're not helping down here. Because it's still a autonomous dependency. Hmm. It might just be like, do you know what? They can handle it themselves, which they're clearly not able to do. Oh, we're looking so, so nice. So nice. To take their two divisions. Not like it do us any good light, like, but um, I'm going to go ahead and grab Streamlink. Do you know what? I don't actually. Which one is actually the better one to go for? Efficiency cap plus 10. I don't know which one to go for for those ever. I just usually just wing it and just guess. We do war propaganda for absolute. Well, just for no reason whatsoever. Um. That's an encirclement opportunity, really. Nope, they've, they've been they're retreating. It's not. Yeah, we're getting closer to the Nanjing. I'm just going to get those guys to push on through it. I think we're all aggressive. They are. You certainly are. And you certainly are. We are unaggressive. We are taking no prisoners. The Russians are starting to push ever so slightly as well. We have unread naval battles. Probably my uh, convoy is getting sunk. I don't know where exactly it is. It's gone. We'll do grab fuel refining. We're picking up some more um, some more dockyards and factories as well. Factories I'm not too worried about. We are nicely in the positives on everything. We still have two K medium tanks left. We've managed to make it to Nanjing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send one division just um, to cut them off down here because this port's about to fall so that'll be them screwed in there and that'll be a decent number of divisions I'd like to think um, as for the lines we're going to have to draw them further up we are, we're doing very well we're doing very well I don't want to jinx it though probably just have but um, that is perfect again the yellows will just leave we'll leave those two slightly behind them so we do have that nice wee encirclement. We'll just keep you there. There's some more divisions to help push through that. We might as well get to that port as well. Alright, so I'm just going to keep researching all this. Just doesn't really matter research at this point. Oops, fine, that's getting covered. Oh, we didn't actually take that. And that port's going to fall as well. How are they doing division-wise now? They are slowly but surely plummeting. Still got resistance in Kashmir. So that's one state that's not actually... Uh, well, one province, rather. State, province? One part that hasn't joined us yet. I found a complete brain fart. State. It's a state. <laughs> there we go. A 
That's what I was looking for. Hmm. Yep, nicely. Going very nicely. The Japanese have completely... Well, they are over here. They are over here. I just don't know why they're not defending themselves. Russia, I'm sorry, but we don't want any troops in your... Oh, how are you getting on with Iran, actually? You're breaking them down slowly but surely. Um, they are out of manpower. Um, obviously, we are not in that war, so what we'll do is we'll jump over and see how that's actually going for them, because we will be able to help them out um, soon. Uh, they've lost 1.5 million. Oh, ouchy, ouchy, ouch. Service by requirement. Do we backstab the Russians next? <laughs> We're not going to be doing that. We're not going to backstab them. We've done our backstabbing. We've done it in Italy once. We don't do it again. We're getting close to the Beijing. Beijing might finish them off. How many points is it? Beijing. Show, show me the money. Okay, it's not one to show me the money. That's 30 victory points. Beijing will be up there. Because Beijing would probably be their fallback capital now. Because Nanjing's fallen. And I think Chong... Oh yeah, Chongqing is in um, Yunnan's territories. Who are also got a lot of divisions. Uh, and they've got a lot of manpower left. They're only on limited conscription as well. And again, they never really get up to... Well, they're saying that they do get up to a decent wee bit. Like, they're not always so uh, innocent in this. I think it's because the Sino Coalition kind of formed and then just disbanded basically straight away. Yeah, we're very close to getting Beijing now. We're not really meeting much resistance. I love how we've got this part of China now. Um, but I think I deserve uh, most of the land. Kingdom of France. How are you doing now? You're you're trying your very hardest. I think Canada's much... Canada's struggling as well. Again, the third international is still kicking and breathing. Like... I'm surprised the Russians and French haven't actually went to war yet. Um, but yeah, manpower is running out for both of them. The wars are taking a toll on them. They've, they've, it's really not had its toll on me yet. Like, I'm still yet to go to service by requirement. So, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good. Plus, if we get a Chinese puppet, conscripting all their men. Oh, Beijing. Beijing is right there. And that's another encircled lot. Oh, they've got bloody military access through the legation cities. You jammy buggers. You jammy, jammy buggers. Oh, we got a wee encirclement of... Oh my gosh, when I say a wee encirclement, that's a decent one. Oh, we're finally meeting some Japanese divisions. They've finally realised they're not in a good position. We have lost almost half a million. Well, we're getting closer to half a million. The Chinese puppet's almost dead. Beijing's got to kill them. That was East Bengal, I think, was still needing to um, become a core. Be be the fall of Beijing's got to kill them. The fall of Beijing will kill this puppet. Yeah, it's killed them. It's killed them. Oh, Japan, Japan, Japan. You, you, son, are not in a good position. Really not in a good position. Um, obviously, they're pretty far away from any port. Well, the ones in Transamura will be fine because of let of stop, obviously. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to send these guys to Korea. No, not all the way. They're going to go to Korea. And we're just going to push them straight down there, just secure there. And what we'll do is we'll get the reds. We'll just line them up here. Do this, we'll draw a spearhead up there. I'm hoping the Russians are going to do a bit of a job anyways. And these guys, we're going to send them over to try and push in down here and secure Silfs Akalan. Because, um... Is it Silfs? Oh, Kar Karafuto. Well, if we take Vladivostok and get to there, then all those guys will be stuffed. So, that is the plan. That is the plan. Don't know how well it's going to go, but we just need to try and eliminate Japan from China now. And I think we will have won this. What we need to do is, can, um, can we just couple of these just to deal with that? And someone take Port Arthur, please. There is a lot of Japanese divisions stuck here. There is a lot. So if we can secure the main parts, then they're pretty much dead, really. What we'll do is, we'll get these reds to push in there. You lot head over that way. So we kind of need to stop them from getting to the legation cities because they can move through. Oh, the Russians can move through as well. It's fantastic. Right, get going, boys. Okay, we're meeting some resistance going for Vladivostok. 
How many divisions does uh, Trans Moor have? 34. Okay, they don't have that many. Do you know what? I think the Russians can handle those. We're going to just head over and just try and push them out of Trans Moor. That's, that's, that's our focus. We're going to get into Vladivostok. And I think Korea is going to be not that difficult to take, really. We'll send another division down here and just try and swoop in behind into Port Arthur. They have landed over here, but these two divisions are on it. They are on it. Yeah, Russian. the Russians can deal with that. How are they doing against Iran now? They've been pushed back. Um, okay, right. Next capital. We're pushing into their next capital. And I'm hoping that's going to be them almost capitulating. Yeah, that'll almost be them killed off. Um, Japan's very close to getting a million casualties. We've only killed 184,000 of them. We've really not been doing much uh, damage to the Japanese. And again, we've not really faced them off. Like, how much have we killed of the... Yeah, we killed 1.3 million of the Chinese puppet. Like, that's, oh, that's pretty good going. It's good going. Oh, those divisions just abandoned uh, Xiang Tao. I'm probably butchering all these names, but oh well. I'm trying. Oh, the capital's up there now. They are close to dying. I'm hoping we're just gonna push in. Korea's fallen, which is good. I'm gonna have to divert some more attention down there. Okay, yeah, we're, we're needing to divert some more attention down there. Those guys need to come on back down and help these guys out. That's becoming a problem for us. A little bit of an issue. And um, Korea's going to fall. Um, I don't think there's any stopping us now. Okay, the Russians are coming. Well, we really do need to push them back out here. This is a front that we really don't want them to have open up. We don't want Japan landing a ton of divisions in there because we will probably struggle to resecure that. But, um, yeah, they're over a million casualties now. We knew it was going to be coming. Um, we should really try and cut them in two. So I'm going to just get these two divisions to just try and push in and cut them off in Siberia. Oh, well, Transamur has just fallen and that's just done it for us. Um, so, yes, what we need to do is we just need to send divisions over here. We'll just extend those right the way along. Draw a line up there. Draw a line up there. What we'll do is we'll grab some volunteers to just push down there and grab that port while we can. Just push in there. You need to just resecure that and just mop up the rest, really. Pan's numbers will definitely be dwindling. They will really be dwindling after this. Uh, the Fading Sun, yes. After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our army controls huge swaths of swaths. Swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea, whilst the Imperial Japanese Navy are reduced to attempting mere blockades. <laughs> Thank heavens we don't have to invade them. Our spies in Tokyo report severe dissent and war weariness among the populace. In light of this, the government has called a two-week conference at Port Arthur to determine our war aims. We will accept Japan's terms of peace, though it will take about two weeks for the deal to be finalised. Be warned, all those at war with Japan will have to accept the deal to go through. Please accept it. Okay. Push, we almost finished pushing Korea. Beijing still got this next to it. That's we group. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they've landed more troops over here. We need to mop that up. That'll be easier said than done. Well, actually, no, it'll be easy. It'll be easy to do. We just need to try and kill off all their divisions before this peace deal goes through. I'm hoping the Russians accept. I think the AI would accept. I'd like to think they would. Otherwise, what have you done to us? Korea's been secured. Greens. Boom. And boom. Go, go, go. We need you guys to help secure these areas because, well, they need to be retaken. I think the peace deal will go through before such... Well, before it really becomes too much of an issue. We'll get across and just start grabbing all this land. So the Russians don't actually have a claim on Karafuto, but I will probably give it to them. I think this is the peace deal going through. Yeah, the collapse of the Japanese Empire. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna... Right. 
I want to see what's happened here. Why has Russia got all the land? Whoa, 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 right, 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 right. Let me just... Um, Russia, you do not deserve all that land. I'm hoping it's going to do a peace deal. The yeah, Japanese army is defeated today and I was a treaty ceding its mainland possession in Manchuria as well as nearby imperial colonies. With its military strength shattered and the whole mainlands themselves now threatened, the sun is faded. We fought well and deserve nothing less. Two week conference port offer has ended in agreements. The terms of Japan offered were accepted and peace has been achieved. We have, been, we have gained much and this is nothing less than a great victory. Why the hell did Russia get it all? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Russia's not getting all, and Siam is not getting away. So I'm going to work my magic. Right, so guys, that's all the land being uh, kind of distributed fairly now. The Russians don't have it all. So the Republic of China is a Russian puppet. They also have Korea here. Um, Japan stole the Philippines, so I went ahead and gave myself the Philippines as a puppet. Um, I took Taiwan from them. Uh, the Yangtze clique is my Chinese puppet, so I will be conscripting their manpower once they actually have some. Um, Indochina is also mine, Siam is mine. I also gave myself the part of um, Indonesia that the uh, Japanese had, and also gave myself that island back. Um, so yes, the Russian sphere is very strong, so I hope you're fine with all that uh, territory there. We will be heading out to deal with, um, with Iran now, and our first tanks will be getting deployed. There they are. Fantastic. So finally have some armoured divisions. So we'll just get that sorted. There we go. Right, so yes, we will come back again. I do tr want to have a war with the Russians against the Third International. Um, I think that'll be a very, very tough and interesting war. A lot of these guys do have... I'd be mean to get rid of that for ages. There we go. That I've been meaning to do that. I, that's probably annoyed people for so many episodes, actually. Yes, that is what the world is looking like now. So we did do the very hefty stab in the back in the Japanese. The Japanese are just completely alone now. Um, they still have a very strong navy. Their army's not terrible either. And they can still make a comeback, but they're, they're not going to be able to win. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back very soon for some more. Take care. Cheerio bye. And then now.